Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to finding element in Ark Extinction. The first form of element that you're likely to encounter in Ark Extinction is element dust, and you'll find it principally in two locations. First, if you harvest lampposts throughout the city, it will provide you with a small amount of element dusts if you harvest it with either a pickaxe or a hatchet. Do be mindful that my server is at a five times harvest rate. Now, the second place that you're going to encounter element dust is from harvesting it off of enforcers. So if you down an enforcer, and again, if you use either a pickaxe or a hatchet, it will provide you with a small amount of element dust. There are two craftable forms of element in the game. There is unstable element shards, which is unlocked at level 55, and unstable element, which is unlocked at level 58, both of which are crafted with element dust. In order to make unstable element shards, you just need 10 element dust, and when you craft it, the unstable shard will slowly spoil into a stable element shard. The same is true with the unstable element it takes a thousand element dust to produce it, and it takes a minute to craft and two minutes to spoil out back into a regular piece of element. The reason for this spoil time is to act as a time gate to prevent people from making a lot of element very, very quickly on the fly. If you wish to, you can scrap the element and element shards back into dust. You can do so at a city terminal. If you scrap an element shard, it will scrap back into a whopping two element dust, so that's nice. And if you scrap a full piece of element back into dust, it will scrap into 200 pieces of element dust, which isn't too bad, but it's not how I would go about it. Finally, if you want to get a lot of element, the best way to do that is finding one of these element nodes. They spawn randomly in the wastelands, and what you're going to do is you're going to defend them from waves and waves of corrupted dinosaurs. And once you've done that and you've uh, defended it from five waves, the element vein will have been protected. And now you can harvest all of these nodes of element and it will provide you with element dust, element shards, and element. And so this is by far the best way I've seen of getting element in Arc Extinction. Do you know any other ways of getting element in Arc Extinction? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, or better yet, check out our new merchandise available from Teespring. You can find it at this link here or in the description below. And as always, have fun out there.